Thank you for calling. Support. You're speaking with James. How may I help you today? Hi, James. Uh, I am installing a new server, and I have a warning on my screen. It says I need to call. Uh, you number. have a warning message. Okay, could you please tell me, sir, what is written on that message? It says Windows Health is critical. Do not restart. Please contact Microsoft technicians. Blue S okay. B S O D uh, error three three three. B S O D error three 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 yeah, or three what does three O three. No, three three three. What does that mean? Sir, uh, do you have any antivirus installed on your computer? I have a semantic trial that I'm setting up. Okay, trial version. And sir, uh, you have not purchased that particular uh, product, right? Not yet. Okay, but it's, full, and, it's uh, fully functional. Sir, I'm told. So. I'm sorry, sir. It's fully functional. It's the semantic endpoint security. All right. Uh, sir, I just want you to tell you this for some steps. Could you please diagnose your computer by yourself? What? Sir, can you diagnose your computer by yourself or you would require my help? Because I would tell you some advanced steps which you need to do just to check whether the inbuilt securities are working fine or not. Can you do that? I can do that. Is this Microsoft? Yes, yes, sir. Oh, good. Right. So I would tell you uh, again tell you the few steps which you need to do. I want you to look at your keyboard, okay? okay? On the left hand side, bottom of your keyboard, can you see a Windows logo key with four little boxes on it? Yeah. It would resemble as Microsoft logo. Yeah. Yes, I want you to press and hold that key down and along with that hit the letter R. R is in Robert. Okay. It says run. You would get, yes, in that run box, I want you to type in M as in Mike. M. Hello, sir? Yeah, hello. Yes. After M, type in S as in Sam. Then type in C as in Charlie. M S C. Then O as in Oscar. N as in Nancy. F as in Foxtrot. I as in Indiana. And G as in Golf. M S Config. Yeah. Yes, please click on OK. Then you would find a system configuration utility box has come up on your screen. Can right. you see that? Yeah. Y yes. On that particular box, there would be many tabs like general, boot, services, startup, root tools. Can you just click on services? Sure. And on that services, you would find many services which are there inbuilt on your computer, which are provided to you by Microsoft. Can yeah. you see them? Yeah. Yes. Now, without clicking on anything, just type in net, N-E-T, that is N as in Nancy, E as in Edward, and T as in Tango, net. Yeah. Now, sir, one of the service named as Network Access Protection Agent, which is provided to you by Microsoft, would be listed there. Can you see that? I see it. Yes. And can you just tell me the status of that particular service? Is it stopped or running? It says stopped. Okay. Sir, this was the inbuilt security which was provided to you by Microsoft, okay? And this inbuilt security is responsible of securing your entire network and your computer both at the same time. And I think, sir, that might be the reason why your antivirus is showing you your system is protected, but that the background, this particular service is not running. And I am sure that you have been infected by a particular virus or might be a Trojan. Oh, man. Uh, do I have your permission to go ahead and diagnose your computer? What does that mean? What do you do? That means I would just share your computer screen and tell you what is the exact problem and what is the exact infections that you have got. Okay. All right. So, sir, I want you to look at your keyboard once again. Just press that Windows key, press it and hold it down and tap the letter R. You would get the same run box on your screen. Yeah. Yes, I want you to delete MS config and type in H as in hotel. Sir, once you type in any letter, just tell me OK or yes, OK? Uh, so about, that I how can about continue? you just tell me really fast because I'm a fast typer. All right, sir. Then type in H as in hotel, H as in hotel, two H's. After two H, put in space. 
after a space, then type in H as an hotel once again. T as in Tango, T as in Tango once again, and P as in Pennsylvania. HTTP, all right? Yeah. Now put a semicolon. I know how to type a website. Go ahead. Yes, put a semicolon, then put a forward slash, forward slash. Yeah. Once again, two forward slash. Oh, I then got it. Then type in www. Yes, www dot three w's then a dot then type in nine two one one dot ninety two eleven dot u s u s as in United States. Do you do type it in? Yeah, I think those two H's you had me type in there aren't quite right. Yes, it should be H as an hotel, H as an hotel space, yeah, H as an hotel, yeah, yeah, T as in Tango, T as in Tango, I have T as in Pennsylvania. Com, A M M Y. Exactly. Now uh -huh. I want you to click on showmypc.com, the first option. Okay. Then it would give you another option. You need to click on run. It says you are attempting to download a file from a site that is not part of your trusted sites and that might be different from the website you're viewing. So then don't download, sir. Then don't download. Should if it I is click, telling you should suspicious, I click close? Yes. Yes, close it, sir. Okay. Well, now I have a blank right. page. Okay. Now, sir, uh, on that particular page, Internet Explorer, I want you to type in a web address that is www.fastsupport.com. F as in Frank, E as in Apple, S as in Sam, T as in Tango, fast. Like he runs very fast. Oh, man. Then type in support. Okay. Like I'm supporting you, type in support, S U P P O R T dot com. Uh -huh. Fast support dot com. Okay. Then put a forward slash. Establish support forward connection. Slash. says establish support yes. connection. Exactly. Now, sir, I want you to type in your first and last name, then I would provide you with the support key. Okay, what's the key? Yes, it's 187 623 269. I repeat, it's one eight seven six two three two six nine. Is that correct? I don't know. Is it? Yeah. Yes. Now please click on OK. To continue. I'm sorry. Continue. You are pressing the space bar, right? You would be directed to a page where it says Go to Assist, and you need to click on Run right now. Okay. Once you clicked on Run, it would run a security scan, and the file would get started. Once it gets completed, it would ask you a permission that do you want this following program to make changes. And once again, it would ask you a permission that Oliver Tech has invited you to join a session. I think you have already clicked on yes, right? I think so. All right. So, uh, yes, I can see your computer screen. I think you're a tech-savvy person, right? Mm, sometimes. Not really. Looks like All right. Okay. Now, sir, this was the blue screen message which you got, right? I guess. This is the why I called you. Okay. All right, let me just go ahead and see. All right, here it is. It's open. Yes, network access protection agent has been stopped. Sir, uh, you're using Windows 8 operating system, right? No, this is Windows Server. This is Windows Server operating system? Yeah, I told you. Okay. Yeah. All right, it's Windows Server 2012 R2. Sir, I think this is, it, this might be a work computer, right? Yeah. Okay, I can see you're using an Intel Core i7 processor with an installed RAM of 2 gigabytes on an it. Intel what? Intel Core, Core oh, trademark okay. i7 yeah. processor. Yeah. Yes. What is the make of this computer, sir? It's a home built. Like with, we just built it. All right, you have assembled it by yourself, right? Yes. Okay. So let me just go ahead and check the main events of your computer. Have you ever checked the event viewer of your system? I kind of know what that is. All right. So this is the brain of the uh, system, which consists of all the, all the history. Loops. When was those errors created? What was the damages? And what was the exact date and time? Here it is, sir. You have near, got near about 94 number of events, and those are the source of it. Wait, you that's are the using source of what? Sim yes, can you see the source, which is written over here? Oh, yeah. It has gone ahead and providing the, the errors. Yeah. Symantec antivirus has also providing you an error. Let me just see uh, when was the last time those error was coming. 
it's, it's, it is coming from today itself. Oh, man. I think you have put it. Here it is, sir. It has been coming since 2014. All right, sir. Let me just see your antivirus is compatible with your system or not, okay? Okay. Hello? Sir, your trial license has been expired. Oh, man. So that is the main reason why uh, they got the window on opportunity to get inside in your computer, and that's why your computer has been infected. What about these virus definitions here? It says that's today. Let me just see was it was updated or not. Mm, sir, you haven't scanned your computer as well. And it, uh, if you buy a uh, free antivirus from the market, if you install it by yourself, it won't give you a real-time prediction. That means you need to always run a scan on your computer to make sure your computer is protected or not. Even on a server, this okay. is a corporate antivirus. This isn't like something I just bought. This is something that our business has. This sir, isn't but from it, the store. It is sir, it is telling me that the trial license has been expired. Huh. Sir, um, sir, let me just ask you, sir, when you installed this software, you have agreed to the terms and condition which was provided by this software, right? Yeah. And, sir, did you read that document, what is, was written over there? You mean like all, like, 700 pages? No, 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 not the 700 pages, not only the first page, because it was clearly written on that particular uh, document that it's a third-party it's a third-party antivirus, yeah. and it won't go ahead and secure your computer 100%. It would at least give you 60 to 70% of security. Can you, now, as can you we bring up that document? Because I didn't ever so, see No, that. sir. Sir, uh, let me just go. Uh, once you install any software, okay, yeah. you need to click on Agree to the Terms and Conditions. Then only you need to click on Next. And after that, you can install that software. Do you remember? You have done that process oh, by I yourself. Oh, think, I think so. I don't even know if it asked me to do that one. But it certainly didn't so say sir, it would only going to cover 60%. Sir, as I told you, sir, this is a third-party software, which is not provided to you by Microsoft. So Microsoft okay? now let me 100%? Just tell you. Yes. Oh. Yes, sir. Microsoft does an does has an antivirus which is provided to the customers for free oh, because we have already purchased a Microsoft product that is this computer. You are you are using a Microsoft based operating system, correct, sir? And that's the reason Microsoft has already gone ahead and published that antivirus which is known as Windows Defender. Uh huh. Okay, which is uh, which can be get. For free, ma free, sir. That means it can you can go ahead and install in that in your particular computer, and it would protect your computer for a lifetime. That means there is no requirement of purchasing that Microsoft antivirus in the future. I was told that that because doesn't work have, on servers. No, sir. Because every Tuesday, Microsoft has is going ahead and updating their server, requiring the no, no, no. Antivirus, I was told you couldn't install Windows Defender on a server operating system. Okay. You was told that uh, you cannot install a... All right, sir, let me just go ahead and see, okay, whether yeah. it can be installed or not. Okay. Have, you, have you ever tried to install it? No. Okay, just give me a moment. This is Microsoft, you said? Bear with Am me. I talking to Microsoft? Sir, we are the support providers who goes ahead and support Microsoft computers. No, I, and Microsoft like, doesn't have any kind of technical support with them. You, so we are well, the only support the providers. you told me you worked for Microsoft. No, sir, we are the yes, support providers who yes, work for did. Microsoft. I asked you, and you said you were Microsoft. I asked you. Sir, we are certified technicians from Microsoft. We do not from belong Microsoft? to Microsoft company. Okay. What's the name of your company? Ma'am, sir, it's Iyogi Technical Services Private Limited. Iyogi? 
Yes, sir. Huh. Let me see, just give me a moment. Did you set this computer by the help of a technician or set up set it up by yourself? By myself. All right. Just give me a moment. And when did you set up this computer? I Today, set, itself, I, right? No, I set it up last year in 2014. Remember that? And then I'm starting to use it again today, and I got this message. I was just trying to change my okay. home page here. See this? All right, yes. See, but this is like a web page displaying this. Isn't that weird? Yes. Sir, this is a web page warning which is provided by the browser to you. Okay. Well, but it looks to me like it's provided by wordsmithcontent.com. Is that you? Let me just go ahead. No, sir. We are not this wordsmithcontent.com because, sir, we are a BBP registered company. And in case any uh, browser detects any kind of suspicious activity going on, then only our number flashes up on your screen. But it, it just seems like this is a fake blue screen error. Like, I don't think this is a real blue screen. Because normally when it's a blue screen, my computer, like, reboots itself. Uh-huh. No, it doesn't give me an 800 it, number. This is like, this looks like an advertisement. It looks like an Do you know what I'm saying? Yes, sir, have like, you tried to, yes, sir. No, normally, have you tried to close them? Yeah, and I can close it, but watch. Like, I can bring it right back up. I, if I search for a Yahoo homepage, look at that. What is that? Uh-huh. Look at this. I think I picked yes, this sir. one. Set page Yahoo Look at that. Sir, yes. Now, sir, uh, there was a pop-up message named this error something content. Yeah. Could you please show me once again? Yeah. There you go. All right, sir. Just give me a moment. What is content from website listed below is Wing Blog Internet Explorer and Hand Security Configuration. www.bing.com. Sir, bing.com, it's a legitimate website. It is provided to you by Microsoft, sir. Yeah. The owner of this particular Bing, sir, it's no, it's Microsoft only. Why? How come, sir, Bing is not opening on your screen? Let me just try to do it, okay? Here, here it is once again. Have you blocked this particular website to come up on your screen? No. But the security of your internet properties is telling me that it has been blocked. Let me just see the contents, okay? As you said, sir, you have used this computer after one year, right? I, I set it up at some point in 2014. Okay. So here, Bing can be open, but that error message would, uh, would come up once again and again, see? So what does that mean? I'm, I think, sir, some of the content has been blocking from the internet properties. I need to go thoroughly, okay? Just bear with me, okay? Is it a virus that causes that? Sir, so might be because, sir, as I found out, that particular service, which is known as Network Access Prediction Agent, which has been stopped. And based on that platform itself, all the antiviruses run, sir. This is the service. 
and sir always a uh, windows would uh, uh, report you about the errors you have got okay as you have near about 94 number of errors and damages on your computer i don't think so the windows has reported you about that because that particular service has also been stopped let me just go show you once again windows here it is, sir. Can you see Windows Error Reporting Service? It has also been stopped, and that's the reason the computer did not inform you about those particular errors which you have received oh, on your event viewer. And there are many things which needs to be uh, running, sir, like the performance adapter, which uh, smooths up the performance of the computer. There are many things which is not running right now, sir. And uh, you have already set up your server, or you are about to set up your server? Well, you're on it. Okay. The so server means, sir, there, there is a different kind of particular device. This is the server operating system which you're using, okay? Yeah. But server is also a device which can be attached with a computer. So that's the reason I asked you. Okay. Yeah, even your Windows firewall is running. Let me just see the action center, okay? Is it giving me any kind of securities? Let's see. Your firewall is also running right now, but that particular service it has been stopped and it needs to be reconfigured, sir. That is known as the network access protection agent. And I think that is the main problem which has invited those kind of uh, unwanted, suspicious activities on your computer. Well, let's. Okay. Can, can we try something? Can I try something? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Definitely. Do what, uh, sir, what you want to do. So that started now. Yes. So let's see if these errors go away. Uh -huh. No, sir. These errors need to be removed manually. But I just want you to scan your computer. Look, it comes right back. It service. comes right back. It still comes back. Sir, this is a pop-up, okay? This is an error message pop-up. This can be removed. But, yeah, but this is a warning which they, they are providing it to you, okay? But this is Let why I'm calling see, you, uh, isn't it? Because of this blue screen? What is driver unload without canceling pending operations? Driver upload. I don't know, sir. Let me just go ahead and search the error code. What is telling 0x123456CE? Okay, just give me a moment. Let me just search in Google, okay? All right. You are about to view pages of security. Okay. Once again, it is blue blocking Google. Just give me a moment. Zero X one two three four five six C E. Zero X. Zero X one two three four five six C E. And now Uh, I don't know, sir, why those legitimate websites is also being blocked by your securities. It's blocked by my security? Yes. Can you see content from website listed below is being blocked by the Internet Explorer Enhanced Security Configuration? Enhanced Security Configuration. Did you put any kind of extra security on your computer no, I think or that Internet Explorer? I think that comes on the server, built in. Okay. There's your error. So, sir, you do have? Do you have any other website, uh, web browser like Google Chrome or anything else? No, I don't think so. Okay, sir. All right, let me see.
So read, just read, you would find what's the problem, why it is created, sir. It is giving in the Windows community. You can go ahead and read and get the help from them as well. Is, I mean, isn't that why I'm calling you? Aren't, aren't you going to try to charge me here? No, sir. I, in order to go ahead and remove those viruses from your computer, there would be a nominal charge behind that because I, I'm just I, a diagnostic expert. But I don't think yes? that you've demonstrated that there's a virus on my computer. I don't think there is a virus sir, on my computer at all. I let think, I think see, this here is an advertisement for your company. Sir, let me just go ahead and see the processes which are running. Then I can okay. find out the exact virus is there or not. Okay? That, would, that would be great. Okay. Sir, what do you uh, do? You know what this file means? Client server runtime process? No, I don't know. What do you what you tell right, me? What it means? Sir, this is this file is registered as csrss.exe. I would open up Google once again. I would show you. Here is the main problem, sir. I found it out. Don't worry about it. www.google.com I'm opening up that page, sir. Please read it from the beginning so that you can get a clear picture what's wrong with your computer, okay? This is the client server runtime process which you have seen right now, okay? Please read it from the beginning. The full short form of this process is known as csrss.exe. And it is registered as a Trojan. This Trojan allows attackers to access your computer from remote locations, steal passwords, internet banking, personal data. This process is a security risk and should be removed from your system. Clearly written on the Google page, sir. Uh, Have you understood th about this? This says it could be legitimate, number two here. This is another option. I, don't, I think that I have the legitimate one. Let me just see how many of them are running, okay? It might be a legitimate one. But I don't want to end the task. If it is a, a legitimate one, sir, please do not end the task. Otherwise, it can go ahead and remove the display drivers uh -huh. as well, okay? But see, that's what I'm saying. I think, my, I think this is the, I have the good one. All right, just give me a moment, is, sir. Let I'm me just make sure. I'm sure that you have to have that client server runtime process. Yes, mm. client server runtime process should be there because to run the display on your computer. Just try to check it, sir. Just please click on yes and close it. Click on OK. All right, sir. I have two clients who run down browsers running in normal. As option, go to csrss. Dot source. Mm, that's something else. So just wait. Just look. Let me look at the picture. Oh, I think you have some other page. So just give me. Uh, just scroll it a bit upwards. And just take me to the, exactly to the picture where it was telling you. Uh -huh. See, this guy's got just like a wait, million just... of them running. If I had that many running, boy, I would think I had a problem. And which computer did you have? Uh, sir, but I haven't checked their details, okay? Just give me a moment. See how many of them are. Yes, sir, there are two of them running. Well, let's end one. There are two of them. And, sir, uh, oh, my gosh. Don't do, sir. Don't do. I want to we do cannot this one. recognize which is. A... Oh, something's definitely sir, please wrong. Please wait. So please wait, sir. Which what I'm telling, trying to explain is, if one of them is a good file, then you cannot watch the monitor as well. So that might be the reason. And their PID status is telling us it's 360 and 444, and both of them are client-server runtime processor. I think one of them should be 
a suspicious one. Just check. Hmm. Also, CSR is it's telling me that it has been provided to you by Microsoft. So that's digitally signed, isn't it? That's what that means. Let's check the but, other uh, one. But in a computer, there should be there shouldn't be two process named as CSRSS dot well, let's, let's see if that other one is signed. Look at that. That's signed. That's from Microsoft. Uh huh. Uh huh. It's got a digital. Just look at the details. Just look at the details. All right. Yeah. Email address not available. Just be the certificate. Ensures no, sir. It's a legitimate one. That one is. Yes. Yeah, and so is the other one. And so, uh, sir, please. Uh, then how come two processes are running? There well, should be only me. one I process mean, named. Does, as the, does there? Can there only be one? Because I have. There look, should look, be only one look, named as CSRSS. I've got. Look at all these i explorers here. Look at all those. I, I explore means Internet Explorer. So let me just tell you how many Internet Explorer you have opened. I have opened. two you can HTTPDs, just find... Apache server. Yes. Look, is that bad? Yes. So uh, I, I, I'm not sure about that, sir, because I haven't worked on that. But HTML help is one of them which has been open. Let me just close it, okay? And once again, open it, sir. That is the task manager. All right. Just give me a moment. Yeah. Look at all these. We need to sir, end. We need to end sir, these. Uh, without, uh, without, without going and thoroughly, we are, I would just ask you to go ahead and install a software which is known as anti-spyware. Can you do that for me? What do you want me to it do? It is a free version for one one complete month. We can go ahead and use it for one month as well. So would we should we go ahead and try that one? Sure. All right. Just give me a moment. Previously, did you get in any kind of error message which was blocking from yeah, the Yeah, I always Explorer? get those error messages on all my servers. Okay. All right. I will download the professional edition, okay? All right. It says my PC ran into a problem and needs to restart. We're collecting information and now it's restarting my computer. Okay. So could you please close this uh, uh, error my, message? My computer, my photos. computer just rebooted. It, it is rebooting right now. Yeah. What'd you do? How come? Sir, I didn't do anything, sir. Right now, I was in front of you. I was just opening up that antispyware.com. It is still getting... So please restart your computer once again, okay? I would be deal uh, there till, until and unless I don't fix this computer up. Don't worry about it. It says your PC ran into a problem. Memory dump. Memory dump? Yeah. And do you see any uh, options like normal startup in normal mode, safe mode, safe mode with networking and all? It's already back in. Okay, is it restarting? Yeah. Okay, just wait a moment. No, it's already back in. Is it ready to use right now? Yeah. Okay, sir, let me just share your computer screen. I think the internet connection a bit fluctuated. That might be the reason I cannot see your screen right now. If you get any options, like Oliver Tech has invited you, please click on yes, okay? Yeah, I don't see anything. Or, sir, you can go to that fastsupport.com once again. You know, and I, will tell I you think... The news. I think I'm just going to stop yep. right here because I don't I don't really feel like what you're doing is a legitimate service. I feel sir, like that's an advertisement. Is, the diagnostic is totally free of cost, sir. 
Yeah, and I I'm think here just kind to of, inform you, sir. I think we've taken it kind of far enough, and I'm not sure that you know what you're talking about. Sir, we have been working on this particular industry from last seven years, sir. How come you can that. say that? I believe that because I because I kind of know what I'm doing, and I I don't really think you know what you're talking about with these things. I think you're trying to trick sir? me into paying for something. No, sir, we are not a salesman, sir. Let me just go ahead and tell you, if you want to go ahead and get your computer fixed, we can go ahead and provide you a Geek Squad option as well. Okay. I think you must have heard about Geek Squad. A what? Geek Squad or Best Buy. I, don't, I can't hear you very well, sir. Geek, Geek Squad or Best Buy, oh, sir. yeah. Have you heard? Yes. I can do so, that. Sir, you, if you, Yes, sir. If you want, sir, I can diagnose your computer, tell you the problems. Just go to Geek Squad and fix up your computer. That's it, sir. I'm not a salesperson. I'm not here to go ahead and make sales in my call, sir. Okay. You're a customer service agent, sir. Okay. Because, I mean, originally you told me you worked for Microsoft, and then you told me you didn't sir, work for Microsoft. Sir, we are Microsoft. the support providers who goes ahead and support Microsoft products and Microsoft computers. Right, but that's not what you told me at the beginning. I don't feel very comfortable about that. I think you were trying to deceive me. And the fact that that page comes up from a website with your phone number, that doesn't uh -huh. seem very legitimate to me. It seems like you're trying to drum up business for yourselves, for iYogi. Sir, uh, what you can do is, sir, what I would recommend you is, sir, please take your computer to GeekSquad or Staples. Okay. They would let you know what is the problem that you have and get it fixed over there itself. This I is the, one of the best technical support providers across America. Which one is? You or them? No, sir. No. Ge Geek Squad. We are Ge the second best, Geek and Geek Squad is the first. Wait, you're the second them. best? Yes, sir. You can search <laughs> it on your website as well. Okay. You can search it on your website as well. All right. Just search. Search best technical support provider, independent technical support provider and in the United gonna, States. And you're going to be number two? Hold on. I will look that up. Yes, sir. Just look at it. One second. All right, so I'm in Google. I'm going to search best what now? Yes, best technical support providers in United States. Let's see. So it says... Ten best technical support services companies. Yes. From consumer yes. affairs. Yes. Click on that. Yes. Click on that. From consumer affairs. I Yogi. You would find the says number yeah, two. Second option would be ours. Yes. What's your main phone number there at I Yogi? Sir, it's eight four four three two six four six five one. I see. And Best Buy, it says it's number three, so it says you're one better. Yes. Sir, Geek Squad is one of the best, and Best Buy is a subsidiary company of Geek Squad. Uh -huh. So if, we, if you want to go ahead and fix your computer online, you can go ahead and get some help from us, or either you can take your computer to Best Buy and get it fixed from them. Okay. Well, but they I don't are understand. rated only one star. I just don't understand why that advertisement would pop up your name and try to lie about that. Sir, as I told you, sir, that pop-up was not ours, okay? The, I, as the I, browser detects okay. any, kind, any kind of problems in your computer, then only you would get our number flashing up on your screen but so that, that you can get some help. But that web page, I mean, you could uh -huh. type that into your browser, and that's going to put up that same error message on your computer. You know that, right? Yes, sir. That might happen, but if I am not having any kind of viruses or any kind of infections in my computer, but I can go ahead and remove it as well. You mean just close the close the tab? Yes, ex yeah. exit out. It would ask me close all tabs, close all tabs. That's it. That's how yeah. it can go from but your computer see, screen. But see, so you you see what I'm saying is that that website is designed to look like you have a real problem. So that's a deceitful uh -huh. website. That's a that's a deceitful advertisement. And the fact that your number is at the bottom of it makes Iyogi uh -huh. makes Iyogi a deceitful company. All right. Do you understand that? So let, uh, yes, sir. I can understand that, but sir, I am not the one who has put those kind of pop up on your computer. Right. Well, okay, but somebody, just, somebody in your organization, 
is responsible uh -huh. for putting iYogi's phone number on advertisements about fake viruses and fake blue screens. So somebody there is really a bad person. Sir, I, I'm just a small agent over here who goes ahead and diagnose the computers and give a proper customer service. Right. And based on the feedback which the customers give me, uh, for each customer, I earn 2 to $3. That's it, sir. I understand that's my that. part of job. I understand that. But like that network ex access protection agent, that's, that's not a virus, and you know that. That's no, sir. Network the, access protection agent no. is a service which is provided to you by Microsoft. That's, I understand that, but and that's it, not for an antivirus purpose. Okay. No, sir. It, so, it is not for any antivirus purpose. Uh -huh, uh huh. But you told me before it was. You see, that's part of the deceit sir. that you that your company does. Is you tell sir, people I'm not sure. you tell people C C R S S is a virus, where actually it's a legitimate signed Microsoft service. That's sir, the kind of thing. If you're that not you guys sure about do. this particular company, then I would go ahead and recommend Geek Squad. They're one of the best, sir. Right, but see, I. I I don't want you guys to keep doing this to people. Sir, I'm not the one, as I said to you, sir, because I we know, need to but follow you're part, the you're part of the machine that's trying to steal money from customers. No, sir, we are not the one, sir. If, as I told you, I'm not the one who would take the payments as well. If you want to go ahead and get yourself registered by this company, the uh -huh. call would be transferred to the technical department, and a billing manager would be taking the payment from you. And it's okay. not me, sir. I'm I here just to I go ahead and diagnose your computer. I understand that you diagnose, but if let's just imagine that I was a little old lady. What what uh -huh. how would this conversation have gone? Okay. So let me just tell you clearly if there is a problem that I think you might be knowing that each and every problem has a cost behind that. So that's how a company grows. Right. And that's how they run their business. And so what I'm saying is you are creating problems where there are no problems in order to get people's money, and I don't like it. Sir, this is the first time that, uh, that I'm facing this kind of customer, and this is the first time that I'm facing this kind of problem in customer's computer. But okay. the number is really harsh, but I don't know how come kind of problem can be on your computer. Right. Well, I guess I, guess I would suggest that maybe you should report to your higher-ups that your, uh, your website or your phone number is being displayed on illegitimate websites in order to drum up business and that you should do so something about changing that. So what I can do is, sir, that. I can go ahead and inform it to my team leader okay. and he would be responsible to go ahead and inform it to those managing department. I guess that's all I can okay. ask for at this point. That would make me happy. All right, sir. So, uh, be, uh, so before letting you go, sir, is there anything else that I can help you out, sir? No, and I do hope you have a good day and this is nothing personal. You too, sir. It, it was not personal with me as well, sir. And the information which you have provided, I would go ahead and go ahead, put a feedback in this particular call itself. Right I now. Don't I appreciate worry appreciate about that it, very sir. much. Thank you. Don't worry, sir. If you have a problem, sir, the, believe me, just take it to Best Buy or Geek Squad. They would fix up your computer, and they are a legitimate company. They won't do any kind of bad stuff. Excellent. All right. Thank you. But don't, yeah, don't go to any kind of local technician, okay? Okay. They can go ahead and screw up your company, computer. If they are not Even certified worse? Microsoft technicians, then yep. don't go to any kind of local technicians. Just go to straight away to Best Buy or Microsoft. Got it. All right. Thank you, Thank sir. you, sir, for your time. And thank you for the information which you have provided to me. I appreciate that. I would That's go important ahead and, to me. Uh, yeah. Thank you, sir. Thank, thank you. you. Have a great day. Bye. Thank you. Bye-bye.